Let's kick this off by talking about color management. Color management to me is a very important thing. I usually leave it toward the end. I want to bring it up front because, in my opinion, you have to learn to manage color if what you see is what you're going to get. Now, let me do this. I'm going to come over here and open an image. You can open any image that you want for this demonstration. We have an image. In this lesson, let's talk about the display, color modes, and channels. Now, in this case, I have an image. I can see that it's RGB right up here, and it's 8 bit pixels. If that doesn't make too much sense to you, it will, trust me, as we move on. So I know it's an RGB image. It's composed of red, green, and blue pixels. If I come over to my channels, channels are a very important part of controlling color in a Photoshop document. Photoshop has been around for 25 years. There was a time in the history of Photoshop that it didn't have layers, believe it or not. You had one shot at this thing, and it only had one undo. So if you made a mistake and did something else, you'd have to start all over again. Those were dark days. But I want to tell you something. It always had channels because channels control color in an image, this case, RGB. So look at this. If I click on red, it shows me the red channel. Kind of looks almost like an infrared photograph, doesn't it? If I go to green, just by clicking on the word green, I see green and now I see blue. What you're looking at is the distribution of green, red, and blue in an image. The computer sees numbers. We see shades of gray and think of it this way. The darker the shade of gray, the less of that color is mixed in our case with the other two. Now there's not a lot of blue in green grass, so see how dark it is. But there's a lot of blue in a blue sky, see how light it is. If we go into green, it looks different. There's more green in the grass because the grass is green. And there is a lot of red in green too, and you can see that. So this much blue, based on darker is less, lighter is more, this much green and this much red, when you click here, which is called a composite, produces the colors that we see. If we go up to the word image on the pull down menu and go down to mode, we can change the color mode. For example, we are working in RGB. RGB is excellent for monitors, televisions, iPads, etc. Additive color. If I'm going out to print, I'm probably going to change it to CMY color, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So if I come over here and do that, it's going to say, well, you're really sure you want to do this? And you're going to be using US web coded Swope V2. And that may be something other than what you intended. So maybe you should quit now and change the profile. I said, nah, I want to do this. So click OK. Now notice the image primarily remains pretty much the same, but our channels have changed. Cyan, magenta, and yellow are subtractive paper color. A light source has to hit it. The light source has the colors in it. Some get absorbed by the paper. What's left goes up to our eyes, subtractive color. Cyan, magenta, and yellow are the exact opposites on the color wheel of RGB. But if we're printing, this is probably where we're going to be. So if I click on cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Channels control the colors based on the mode that we're working in. Now let me do something here, my favorite thing to do. I'm going to hold down the Command key on a Mac, Control key in Windows, and press the letter Z. I love undo, and we just went back to RGB. Let me show you one more. We're going to go through these as the class progresses. Let me go into mode and do grayscale. Now, when I do this, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Because there's a much better way to do it where you retain the color and you can adjust the grayscale on your own adjustments. And I say, nah, I want to do this. So I'm going to discard the color information and watch my channels. You only need one for grayscale. Let me do my favorite key again. Modes control the colors through channels. Now, as we move through these chapters, we're going to be using channels to adjust the colors in an image and actually do a lot of other things too. The display, your channels, and the mode you choose are very important to working in Photoshop in managing color. Let's move on.